flight and I didn't have time to cook. We just got some takeout, but I wanted to show you guys what I would typically eat before a flight just because since I am doing like a video shoot, I just want to make sure I'm feeling my best on this trip. So I went ahead and just picked up a salad. Um, it does have tortilla strips on there. I don't know what they are if they're like corn or flour. I probably won't eat them, but just like a big veggie salad. This has beans, corn, tomatoes, lettuce, like everything on it. So, and I think it's got like a vinaigrette dressing. I'm just gonna go ahead and eat this and then I'll share with you guys a couple other things I do the night before a flight. So the last thing I'm gonna do before bed is boil some water and have some tea. One of my favorites is the yogi detox tea so i'm gonna have a little bit of that next up i'll go ahead and bring a couple protein bars these are the go macro bars um great vegan gluten-free non-gmo little protein bars just to keep in your purse sometimes i've had to get to the airport so early nothing's even open and i'm starving and i have long flights all day whatever i like to make sure i have something on me so i usually bring some bars gluten-free crackers that type of stuff especially if I'm traveling by myself and I don't want to go to like every meal alone I will like to bring some stuff with me just to have snacks in between my meetings and stuff like that so definitely bringing these and then just because it is like winter season right now and um, my son is sick right now and everyone is always sick at the airport I want to make sure I don't get sick so these are kind of like my little secret formula you get them at Whole Foods, they're called Wellness Formula. Um, they just kind of help zap it in the bud. Is that the right term? If you're getting sick, you take it and it just kind of helps you to like not get sick. So I have that and I also have, I'm gonna just bring one of these either airborne or emergency for some vitamin C. Probably take just this small one so I can just take it with me in my purse. But that is it and I'm gonna go to bed super early, probably drink some water too, and just get rest because my car is picking me up at 6 a.m. So I gotta be up super early. You guys i made it to my hotel so the reason why i wanted to film this video was because this hotel is really specific it's really cool it's an equinox hotel so if you've heard of the equinox clubs their gyms and spas and everything um they created this hotel and it's very like wellness health oriented and i think it's so cool so they have a ton of great options here if you're coming to new york i'm already obsessed and i just checked in but like i'll be able to order celery juice tomorrow it's already it's like on the menu for everything and you know, I just love when places have dairy-free, gluten-free options, but they don't sacrifice since like you only can get a salad type of thing. I like salads, but I don't always just want a salad, you know, so I'm so excited to, I don't know if I'm going to eat lunch here or if I'm going to go out. I did a little story and so many of you guys recommended sweet green and there's one that said 700 feet. So I might walk over there because I've never tried that and I heard it's great. But in the meantime, I have to confess one of my weaknesses is um is like those cookies by design cookies i don't know why i feel like so many people would be like ew that's your weakness but i love those kind of cookies and they had some here um so yeah i'm sure there's tons of sugar and everything in this but i went ahead and ate a half of one because i was starving all i've had today is that banana my celery juice and coffee and i need something I'm just like i get car sick and ubers and stuff so i needed a little something I didn't want to do in the mini bar so they had these cookies here I just ate a half of one and it was really good and sometimes you just gotta treat yourself so I'm gonna figure out if we're gonna go to sweet green or if we're gonna order lunch or go to the uh cafe here where they have like a great little restaurant the guy at the front was telling me it's awesome and it's good for lunch so I'm gonna decide which one we're going to and then I'll let you guys know what I end up getting and my review and what I like So I went to Sweet Greens. It was only like a three, four minute walk through the mall. And I picked up the winter squash salad. I did no Parmesan, it's gluten-free, and then without the Parm, it's dairy-free too. So 
I'm gonna dig into this and try it. It looks really good. It was so busy in there, I couldn't really get like clips. The line was super long and it was just crazy in there. Like everyone was on their lunch breaks. It's like one o'clock, but this is like one of their seasonal salads. Mm, really good. So there's squash, which I like something like that to kind of fill me up. Um, there's apples and raisins. I love fruit on a salad. Walnuts and lettuce. And then it was like a vinaigrette dressing, like maybe like a maple balsamic vinaigrette. So I'm gonna eat this. Um, that's it. And I need a coffee. Um, I was gonna get one before my meeting, but that will be too late and I don't wanna have coffee that late. So how do I turn this on? Press coffee button. Let's figure this out. Just made myself a little shot of espresso. We have two different creamers in here. Let's see. Layered superfood, unsweetened and original. They are gluten-free, vegan, non-GMO, dairy-free, soy-free. One of them, coconut milk powder and coconut sugar. Awesome. Okay, I will have that. I like a little sugar. I don't love a shot of espresso just like by itself all the time, so... I'll do half this powder pack. Let's see. It's really strong. I'm going to take the full. Most of it, at least. Let's see. Okay. That's good. Okay. I'm having a little coffee. Let's see. This is serving size is one packet. It's like about 90 calories. And that's pretty much it. It's just the coconut milk powder, coconut sugar, and coconut oil. So I'm going to drink this before my meeting and my dinner just to get a little energy. I need something in the afternoon. So I just went to an event that they had here at the hotel for the new product that was launching. That's what I'm here for. And they had some hors d'oeuvres going around. They had some wine. I definitely had some wine, probably like one and a half glasses, not even full glasses. It was just like they were bringing it around on trays. And um, I had some red wine. That is my favorite. So I had a little bit of that. And then they passed along like just some random hors d'oeuvres. I had some poke like two little things of poke and they had like some little corn like polenta stick and I had that. They had like other stuff too like burgers and cheese and stuff like that. I didn't go for that. I just stuck with the veggie type stuff and the tuna. So now we are all headed to dinner. Me and a couple of my girlfriends that were at the event were like we're starving because it was just hors d'oeuvres. So we're going to go ahead and go to dinner at the restaurant here and I will tell you guys what I end up getting because everyone says it's great. So we're going to head out now. morning in new york it is 7 a.m and they just dropped off my fresh ugh, celery juice it's a splash of lemon that's why i made that sound um sometimes like whenever you order it out they add a splash of lemon so it is what it is it's better than not having it at all but at home i don't add lemon but i mean it tastes better with lemon so there's that this is espresso with oat milk so I can have oh no this is an oat milk latte and then this is oat milk to go with my how do I open this thing oh. to go with my granola it's just some granola blueberries and raisins I just wanted something light but something filling because I don't know um what the eating schedule is going to be like today obviously because i'm going to be rushing to the airport and all that so i did kind of want something like carby i guess just because i don't want to be starving but i'm going to have the celery juice first and then i'll have the coffee 
and then I'll have this uh, probably in like an hour. So I ate lunch at this little place called Citarella. Um, it was so good, right? Citarella, yeah. So good, just kind of like a fresh market. It was like a little grocery store, but they also had a cold bar, a salad bar, like hot bar, all that type of stuff. So I got a great salad. So I just went ahead and got like a Greek salad. I'll insert some clips and show you guys. It was lots of cucumbers and olives and onions and tomatoes. It was so good. I love salads like that. It had like a great dressing on it. Um, I do eat feta cheese and I don't have a problem with it. I love feta cheese. I don't have it all the time, but Usually in like a Greek salad like that, I'll have it. It was so good and fresh. And then um, usually just a salad like that doesn't always fill me up. Like I have to have some carby type thing with it, especially on travel days when I don't know like how long it's gonna be for me in between meals. And I'm just the type of person that when I travel, I get very like nauseous, I get car sick. I, I just can't help it, I do. So I have to eat like, I'm not one of those people that can like just not eat when they travel because I don't want to eat airport food. Like I have to eat or else I will like faint and throw up in the airport. So I don't want that. So I had to get something carby. I got um, like some mixed quinoa and I mixed it in with the salad. It was so good. I got some fruit on the side just because I wanted some something sweet. It looked really good and like fresh. It was so good. And then um, I went ahead and grabbed some salt and vinegar chips and a kombucha. I ended up not eating the chips just because the salad was sour and the drink was sour and then I didn't want sour chips too. So I saved them. I'll probably eat them in a little bit. Um, but I'm getting ready to head out of here and head back home.